Okay, so the problem here is consider the equation theta equals 5 thirds pi. So you're asked what is the equation in Cartesian rectangular coordinates equivalent to this polar equation. So what I have to the right of that is a unit circle. We'll need that. And also an equation that relates polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates, okay, which is tan theta equals y over x. And we'll need that in this problem to um, solve for our equation, to get in terms of a rectangular coordinate equation. Okay, so we know the angle of 5 pi over 3 is shown in the unit circle, and we know that that angle gives us a line, okay, if that makes any sense. So what I have here is tangent theta, I'll rewrite it again, equals y over x, and we're giving theta equals 5 thirds pi. Okay, so now what we'll do is plug in 5 thirds pi in for theta, okay? And we'll solve to get us to the form y equals whatever it is that we need, or the equation form, okay? And that will give us our equation of the line in Cartesian coordinates. So, solving this, we have tangent of 5 5 thirds pi equals y over x. So tangent of 5 thirds pi. Where on the graph is 5, is 5 thirds pi and what is our x and y coordinates so we can solve? So we notice that 5 thirds pi is right here. And our x coordinate is 1 half and our y coordinate is negative root 3 over 2. So we will solve that to get us what the tangent of 5 thirds pi is. So we have we have square root negative square root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. Now simplifying that problem gives us negative root 3. Okay, and I'll do the math for you real quick. This is that when you divide you essentially multiply so 2 over 1 and the 2's cancel out and you just get negative root 3 over 1 which is just negative root 3 okay so now we notice that now we notice that our tangent of 5 thirds pi is negative root 3 so negative root 3 equals y over x and again we want to get y, the equation for y, so we get it as, keep solving this, we get, we get negative root 3x equals y, or y equals negative root 3x. So that is our equation in Cartesian coordinates or rectangular coordinates for the line, okay? That is the equation in Cartesian coordinates equivalent to that polar equation, okay? But we're not done yet. That's only part of the problem that we're asked. So we have that, but it says set it equal to zero. It says set it equal to zero. And as you notice from the little paragraph below, you could obviously see how we would set it equal to zero. So all we need to do is subtract, all we need to do is subtract negative root 3x to the left hand side. So what we have is y equals, oh, I'm sorry, it's not equals because we're subtracting. So y minus a minus root 3x equals 0. So we know that the two negative signs will turn into a positive, so we have y plus root 3x equals 0. And that's what we are asked, okay? And that's what we are asked. So that, again, is our equation in polar 
coordinates, our polar coordinate equation, and that's us uh, setting it equal to zero as asked by the problem. Okay, so again, this is how we solved it. And if you work backwards um, to get to, you can also work backwards to get you back to five pi over three, just to double check your answer using what I have up here um, where arctan of x is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So when you actually essentially solve this working backwards to make sure you got the correct answer, you'll have essentially um, tangent of theta equals Tangent of theta equals negative root 3 x over x. Okay, Plus, because the negative root 3 over x is just your y. And when you solve this, your x's cancel out and you get tan theta. This is me working backwards, equals negative 3. And to get theta by itself, you just take the inverse of that and you get arc 10 of what gives you negative 3 and actually you'll get negative pi over 3 but because arc 10 is between is between as I have up here is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 you have to look at the right hand side of the unit circle and your negative pi over 3 would essentially be 5 pi over 3, okay? So that's how you could also check to make sure the answer is correct, okay? But again, hopefully I didn't move too fast. Hopefully you understood it. Please like us on Facebook, and if you have any more questions, send them our way. But here's the problem in its entirety, okay?